Minnesota lawmakers today introduced a bill banning transgender people from using bathrooms at schools and businesses that are different from their biological sex. Opponents say such a law would be illegal, and Governor Mark Dayton calls it appalling. Pat Kessler is at the Capitol tonight. This one getting a lot of attention, right, Pat? Yeah, it really is, Liz. This bill already has more than 40 co-sponsors in the House and the Senate. And lawmakers told me today this is about the right to privacy, not about moral values. The bathroom bill requires transgender people to use restrooms that match their biological sex at birth. And it says that non-traditional identity does not override the right to privacy. But the vast majority of Minnesotans do, in fact, have this reasonable expectation of privacy. Except for one-person restrooms, the bill bans schools and businesses from allowing transgender access to bathrooms, locker rooms, dressing rooms, or similar places, especially in schools where students may be placed at risk. However, they should not be granted special rights just because they are confused or in denial about their biological sex. Minnesota's leading LGBT advocacy group called the bill a step backwards after the state passed sweeping anti-discrimination laws. It does tell people that they should discriminate against people who are transgender, and, and I think that that is, that is truly harmful. I'm just, I'm just appalled. Governor Mark Dayton going even further, calling it homophobic and promising a veto. You know, this is about pandering to their extreme base. Well, the actual language of this bill, and I want to read it, the actual language defines a person's sex as either male or female as biologically defined at birth. Now, transgender people push back on that, Liz. They say that gender is only assigned at birth but can change during a person's life. Very controversial. We'll hear more about it, I'm sure. And give us some uh, perspective, Pat. These transgender bathroom issues have come up in other places across the country, right? Yeah, they really have ever since the gay marriage uh, stuff came up a few years ago. That was very controversial. I'd say that this is the new gay marriage controversy. It has come up around the country with different kinds of results. Just a few weeks ago, the bill passed in South Dakota, and the Republican governor of South Dakota vetoed the bill. He said South Dakota legislature had better things to do. All right, Pat. Thank you. You bet.